All right, so for this level two functional skills question, we're in the non-calculator section, uh, and it's sort of like a ratio proportion type question, but let's give it a read through. Bill is a builder. Uh, on Monday, he made mortar mix. He used 24 kilograms of sand and five kilograms of cement. On Tuesday, Bill will make the same type of mortar mix, but he will use 36 kilograms of sand. How much cement does he need to make the same type of mortar mix? So let's, let, let's write out some of that information, maybe in a slightly different way. So you mix sand and cement, and that makes this particular mixture of mortar. Uh, and he used 24 kilograms of sand and five kilograms of cement. Um, we are then told that to make the same type of mortar mix, but he's gonna make more of it because he's using more sand, he's using 36 kilograms. Uh, we need to know what mystery number goes here. What's the equivalent amount of cement he needs to make the same mixture? Now, there, there, there are lots of different ways of doing this question, but the, the first thing that's, that stands out to me is that the difference between these two things, he's using an extra 12 kilograms of cement, which you might notice is half as much again as he started with. So what, what I mean is that if you take the original amount of sand and divide it by two, that's how much extra he's adding next time, which tells me that he's making one and a half times his original mixture. So that means what we need to do is, is find out what's one and a half lots of five. So I'm gonna take five, I'll divide it by two, and half of five is two and a half, or 2.5. And because it's half as much again, we need to add that onto the five that we start with, and we find that he needs 7.5 kilograms of cement. So that, 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 is, the, that is the answer, but in, in a second, I'll start setting out the, um, uh, all that working out in our working out box, because we need, all, all of this stuff I'm writing is the equivalent of you doing it on paper. It's great, it gets your head straight, it gets you all the answers, but you're marked for what goes on the test, which means I need to transfer all of this into these boxes. Um, but let me just explain one more time what we did first of all. Um, I noticed first of all that it's half as much again. Um, so he's, he's making that mixture one and a half times instead of just the one time that he made it originally. He's making one and a half times as much. Um, and the way I spotted that is by finding the difference between these two things and the, the exam has done it on purpose, they've made it a nice number. Uh, this 12, which is the difference between uh, how much kilograms he used on Monday and how many he used on Tuesday, the difference is 12, which is half as much again as he started with. So I suppose the first thing I did was 24 divided by two. So in our working out box here, we actually say that we did 24 divided by two equals 12. And remember, all, we, all this step is doing is confirming that it's half as much again so perhaps this isn't completely necessary in the working out, but it's, it's something we did, and every time you do something, it's worth putting it in the box. Uh, next, we had to find out what one and a half lots of five is. Uh, and you can think of it as one and a half lots of five, or you can think of it as half as much again. I've said that sometimes as well. Uh, but either way, we had to half five, so we did five divided by two equals 2.5. Uh, and then we took that and we added 5 to it. So we took our original 5 and added on the 2.5. So we did 5 plus 2.5 and our answer equals 7.5. And that's why he needs 7.5 kilograms of cement to make the same type of mortar mix. And that's it. That's the question. Not too much work to do, but very tricky to spot in the first place that it was one and a half lots of the original recipe. All right, cool. Nice.